Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 28th, 2022. Well, we had another interesting day yesterday with a nasty little whipsaw with that uncertainty about tech earnings. And unfortunately, um, the majority of those tech earnings did disappoint. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here this Friday. Boy, it has been a wild and crazy week, and I suspect we could have some wild and crazy price action today as well. Let's take a look at what we've got going on in here. First off, if we look at the diamonds and we see this uh, bigger downtrend in play, we still have that going on, obviously, in the chart. Although we have beat this um, short-term downtrend and we have rallied, holy moly did we rally hard in this move just a straight up move here in the diamonds which essentially sets us up for a little bit of a parabolic type move in that short term and with a couple of shooting stars in here showing up um, below our 200 day moving average it may be starting to hint just a little bit that we may have overshot um, in the short term and we need, may need a little rest or pullback but they have been the bulls have been very tenacious here in the diamonds and as you can see here in the pre-market we were looking at a gap lower and well what we've seen here lately is every single morning we get a pump up into the futures uh, or into the um, open of the day we'll see if that holds up with some of the economic data that we have coming our way here in a bit let's take a look at our SPY now unfortunately our SPY is not showing nearly as strong and if we were to take a look at this price pattern right here this is really showing up as an evening star pattern on the SPY now that doesn't necessarily mean we have to collapse all the way back down but it will suggest that we could test some support down in here and if those bears find some inspiration today that possibility that they could even break that level and push down a little bit further here does come into question now if those bulls find inspiration here in the chart of course we can then always come back up here and attack that um, resistance level in the chart but i gotta tell you the evidence is starting to show maybe it's time for a little rest or pullback here in the market and you can see that possible failure under the 50 day would suggest maybe a little bit of rest or consolidation could be on the way um, but we'll have to wait and see um, there has certainly been an unbelievable willingness to buy um, the market here recently and if we take a look at our QQQ well even more pressure here in the QQQ as you can see we have been oh I've got drawings all over these um, as you can see um, more of a failure pattern here in the chart it, it doesn't register as an, uh, uh, an evening star pattern at all but you can see that we've kind of broken down some support here in the chart yesterday and we are approaching this level that I that I had kind of talked about yesterday as a possibility as the next level of price support and we're pushing down there now gapping down here this morning with the 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 ugliness in the uh, Amazon report and a little bit of uncertainty in the um, Apple report kind of weighing heavy here on the Nasdaq um, Intel also a bit lower here uh, looking for, you know to lay off or or cut costs dramatically in Intel so um, some interesting situations here in the chart and the NASDAQ is looking like it has that potential to drag the other markets lower and as you can see here in this chart well we certainly have a failure underneath that 50-day moving average and it'll be interesting to see if the diamonds on its own can continue to lift these indexes or if that predominance of evidence in big tech because we have big tech kind of weighed across all of the indexes right now um, if that kind of drags um, 
some of these markets a little bit lower. And there may be a little bit of uncertainty um, heading into next week. Just thinking about next week, we're expected to get another three quarter of a point interest rate increase. And the market's going to have to start focusing on that here. Um, you know, heading into this weekend. Um, let's take a look at our Russell. Um, the IWM has held up really, really strong. As a matter of fact, it was able to hold the last two days when the um, SPY and the QQQ turned lower just able to squeak out some positive um, gains here in that chart. So IWM is holding in there very strong. We may be a little bit extended in that short term rally. So a rest or pullback in here if the rest of the market decides it needs to to consolidate or rest a little bit. It wouldn't be a surprise if we pulled back into there a little bit. Keeping in mind, we do have significant levels of price resistance above in the chart. And overall, you know, we still have downtrends to deal with here in the Russell as well. Um, let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX pulled back nicely yesterday and boy, um, we've been watching this support area here in the chart and we have now broken down through that support area. But I will have to say this big sharp move to the downside as we rallied straight up in the Dow may be showing us a little bit of overextension in that move. And if we find some reason for bearishness, watch for that potential that, you know, if I, if I get rid of those those wicks in there that we could bounce bounce right up off of that support area. Now, keeping in mind, even if we bounce up off there, that doesn't mean the bears are going to take control of the market. It means we might just get a little bit of profit taking, a little bit of rest. We may run up here and find a little price resistance in one of these areas here and turn right back down. I'm not suggesting that that means that we, we should just be running for the doors and all is lost in the, in the upside trend. I can't say that, but um, I would say there might be a little bit of evidence starting to show here that we've kind of extended too far and gone a little bit uh, by crazy here for just a little bit and a little rest might be uh, due here in the market. So watch for that possibility of a little bit of profit taking today, particularly if some of these economic numbers um, start to show us a little problem. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX well, for Pete's sake, um, our T2122. If you ever wondered whether or not these were live recorded, now you know for sure. Um, as I continue to make some mistakes here and talking too fast and trying to type at the same time. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 did pull back yesterday from that high level. And what that means is we've opened up some opportunity. If we can find some inspiration here in the market for the bulls today, then that opportunity would be to pop up um, right up back up in here. We can stay and, and like we've shown over here, we could linger up here for a period of time. But if those bears find inspiration, well, of course, yeah, although we have that upside opportunity here, we certainly have a pretty sizable downside opportunity if those bears were inspired. And I'm not suggesting we have to collapse or go all the way back down. We might find some trend right in here, find some support, come back in here into the mid range of T2122 with just a little bit of profit taking but we we do want to be keeping that in mind with those shooting star patterns showing up all over the charts um, watch for that possibility that maybe a little bit of profit taking would be a wise thing to be thinking about heading into the weekend and then if we take a look at our t2108 massive improvements here in these um, indicators in t2108 unfortunately we haven't been able to really break out of that longer term downtrend but we're sure testing it hard in that possibility that we could pop through there if we can find inspiration for those bulls see you got to give that up to the bulls. They have been really, really tenacious here in pushing these stocks up. Unfortunately, they've kind of pushed them straight up and that can create a little bit of that parabolic move where all of a sudden they come back down a bit. So watch that closely. 55 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, a massive improvement here um, in T2108. Our T2107, 
um, has even improved uh, more than that. Notice if I draw this downtrend across here, what we've seen here is T2107 spiking back above that downtrend. So big solid move yesterday in T2107, almost 33% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. So what we need now is we need to see if we do get a rest or pullback, we need to see that proof that we can find some support in this chart and we can hold it in this price action. So rest or pull back in here and hold, rest or pull back that comes back into here and hold. That would be a good sign, a bullish sign for the market if we can hold that. Um, if we continue to extend, well, then we continue to run into that problem with a little bit of an overextension in the short term, and then we can get that nasty pullback all of a sudden. So watch carefully. Our T2101 um, has curled back up here, and this might indicate that the bears may be kind of coming back into a little bit of control, that maybe some of that momentum might be shifting with these bad tech earnings. So keep a close eye eye on that. Our um, economic calendar today, we've got a busy one and uh, we've got the Fed's favorite indicator here this morning. And unfortunately, the consensus estimate on this uh, personal incomes and outlays number, remember, it's the core PCE that the Fed likes the best. Unfortunately, the year over year core PCE, according to the consensus, is going to go up. Now, that's not going to make the Fed very happy, and that would put us in a situation where uh, I know a lot of folks have been hoping that the Fed's going to back off on these rate increases. But I would suspect next week, if that stays up there, we're going to see that 75 basis point increase uh, from the FOMC. So watch that closely. And if it happens to come in hot, and there might be reasons why it could come in and hot and that's simply because gas prices energy prices food prices have continued to move up during this period of time so it is possible that number could come in hot now if it comes in better than expected then of course that could be very bullish for the market and we could see the market rally hard on that move so keep a close eye on that that's going to be an important number here this morning coming out before the bell and then after uh, right after that we've got employment uh, cost index keep an eye on that one consumer sentiment is one of my favorites and right now consensus is suggesting consumer sentiment pulls back just a little bit remember if the consumers aren't happy and we're a consumer-based economy it makes for a tough situation for the market and we're kind of seeing that in these big tech reports that consumers are having they're really being forced to make different decisions in their uh, in their buying and selling they're they're worried more about paying the rent keeping the lights on uh, putting gas in the car and food on the table um, that's uh, consuming most of their uh, their funds and so that is making them a bit unhappy so watch that and then we've got the pending home sales and we know home sales have been a little bit uh, our housing sector has been a little bit of, of a problem for us here recently so keep an eye on that as well now we've done a really good job all week of just absolutely ignoring absolutely ignoring um, some of these economic reports so is it possible we do that again today absolutely we certainly could we could just say not nah, don't care just want to buy something so um, just just be just be watchful and be prepared um, don't don't over trade this market because I think there could be some um, ugly reversals on the way if not today maybe next week let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today now our earnings calendar is a little bit lighter today we have 80 some companies listed but we have quite a few companies that are, are not confirmed to report so a little bit of a break and then we don't have quite the um you know all the emotion that's wrapped up in the big tech reports uh pushing us around so um that could help a little bit here and calm down some of this volatility or wild price swings but let's keep an eye on some of these stocks today um abbv will be reporting 
you'll want to keep an eye on that. And by the way, the majority of these are all in, uh, morning reports. We don't have too much for aftermarket reports on Friday as a general rule. ABBV breaking that downtrend a bit on the parabolic move um, heading into that earnings report. A rest or pullback in here would set up a nice opportunity, I think, in that. Um, take a look. We've got um, Chlora, uh, Colgate Palmolive reporting today, it looks like. They've disappointed here, uh, pulling back just a little bit here this morning. We're going to hear from ExxonMobil. One thing we have been sure of here recently is the strength of oil and gas. And oh my goodness, ExxonMobil ripping to the upside here. Uh, pushing up strongly this morning. We're going to have some utilities, um, NEE in here reporting, NEP reporting, so keep an eye on that. We've got um, NWL reporting today. And the last but not least I'm going to cover this morning, we've got um, AB. Keep an eye on that. Now, keep in mind, if you want to catch the full list of notables, you may want to uh, click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. And I'll tell you, as, the, as we go through earnings, the number of earnings are really going to ramp up here over the next couple of weeks. So there's no way I'll be able to cover them. Make sure you know how to get back to the morning blog. Let's take a look at uh, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or, or helpful if you could please do me that favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also leave that uh, um, um, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to uh, continue to grow and I truly truly appreciate it hey I want to provide a quick little warning out there there is some evildoer out there that has clipped my icon for right way options and they're posting a whatsapp um, message on some of the videos um, do not do not answer a whatsapp trust me I have never used whatsapp I will never use whatsapp and that is someone trying to scam you so be really careful now I do go through the through there and I delete them out and I report them but just keep in mind that if you see that it's not from me all right um, avoid those comments. So let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be a little bit careful here because we've got quite a little bit of wildness going on in the market. Now I cannot um, stop talking about this situation and the way the currencies are fluctuating here um, in the market. Yesterday we saw the, the ECB raising interest rates by 75 basis points um, and we saw the dollar strengthen just a little bit. And then last night we saw the Bank of Japan, well, they keep kept interest rates flat and um, we may be seeing, you can see we had a shoot up here in the pre-market on the dollar. It's weakening just a bit here, um, but we'll want to watch that carefully. If the dollar strengthens, then that could have some negative effects on some of those commodity prices out there. If it does, if it does um, strengthen back up, um, then we'll see probably gold, silver moving lower. We'll see possibly oil moving lower. So you could look at some of these um, stocks in here as a possible pullback that could occur in those charts if that uh, dollar starts to strengthen again. If it does weaken, then I would look for these uh, commodity type prices to shoot on up. And what we have seen here in um, XLE with these earnings reports that have been coming out so strong, XLE is doing very, very well here. Um, right now, I'm, I'm biased on this trade. I wouldn't chase it at this point in time. I would think we need a rest or pullback to occur. Um, to set up a next opportunity in the in the trade but right now we're just kind of ripping to the upside here on oil and gas 
um, uh, right now, right way options, we're up over 60% on this trade and it just continues to, to fire up and look pretty good. So watch that closely here. Um, and that could be an opportunity or just kind of jump into, and this is something I haven't talked about here for quite a while. Um, in TC2000, you can click one link, um, one icon, it'll take you to all of the stocks that make up that ETF. And you can see there's a lot of bullishness um, in these stocks. And so I would look through some of these. I, I wouldn't want to make a full diet, um, have my whole portfolio in this, but you may want to be thinking about picking up some oil and gas on the next pullback in the chart. Another place you might want to look is over into the refining area. Um, this is something that I might be picking up today. Depends on how this reacts right in here. Valero Energy, this is a nice little upside trend, nice little hold of support. And I've been watching this chart in here. You can see we tried to shoot up yesterday and pulled back. And now we're showing um, this gap down and maybe push back up. I'm going to be watching this area right in here for that opportunity maybe for an entry. So kind of keep an eye on that. Remember, these have a lot of volatility in them. So make sure you understand the risk of these trades and do not blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. You might also want to take a look at some of these, well, big tech reports. Um, I got to tell you, any bounce back up now in Microsoft, if we were to push back up into some resistance here in the chart, I would look for the next opportunity to short following the downtrend here in Microsoft. And I got to say, I'm going to say the same thing about stocks like Meta. Uh, Meta immediately caught some buying yesterday. That's not looking good um, at, at the end of the day. Um, any rally back, I think I would be looking for potential short trades. And when I look at stocks like um, Nvidia that have rallied so much in here um, the last few days, in the market. I'm just a little bit questioning when they start moving toward their earnings reports, are they going to be that much better than these other big techs out there? Uh, I'm not so sure. So I would be watching some of these potential trades for a little bit of bearishness um, potentially showing up in the market. So watch them closely. I apologize guys. I uh, yacked along here too long. So I, I'm out of time here. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for watching these videos and uh, participating and leaving the comments. You guys are truly awesome. I wish you all a profitable day and a wonderful weekend. Take care everyone. I wish you all the best.